Today we're going to start something new. It's kind of like a dirt dive, but for street bikes. I guess we'll call it Road Report for now. If the name changes later on, then it changes. This is the 2016 CBR 300 that we did a build video on. It'll be in the top right corner. Let's go over a few specs before we get into it. Uh, it's a, uh, let's see, single cylinder, uh, 286cc, round up to 300 for the name. Uh, it's liquid cooled, electric start, electric start only. Uh, fuel injected, six speed, wet clutch. It has, it's got 37 millimeter front forks. It's got the, it's got a mono shock in the rear with uh, five preset adjustments. Uh, the front brakes are 296 millimeters, uh, dual piston calipers. And it's a single caliper, it's not uh, dual calipers like some of the, the bigger sport bikes. <clears throat> the rear is a 220mm uh, disc with a single piston. The front and rear wheels are 17 inches. Holds about 3.5 gallons of fuel. The wet weight of this bike is 357 pounds. <laughs> uh, that's gas, oil, coolant, everything like that. Uh, the seat height here is 30.7 inches, so I'm 5'5", five five with like a 29, 30 inch inseam. This ground isn't fully even, but I can put, I can kind of tiptoe on both sides, and I can flat foot totally on one side with my uh, foot on the peg on the other side. Ergonomically, you get the sport bike feel, I guess. Uh, it's not uncomfortable. That's how I sit on it. So I guess the only other thing to do now is to go ride it. Alright, here we are. Ready to do what I'm going to call road report on the CBR300R. We got the build video top right over here. Uh, it's going to be a sweet bike. I, You know, I rode it for the, the build video. And it's awesome. So, it's uneven ground. Alright, so let's... Let's get this video on the road here. I'm actually doing this right after the uh, the build video, so I haven't went home and adjusted anything or cleaned it. Just so I can get it, these videos done, I can get this bike ready to sell. So we're gonna take a good loop, go through some things, uh, some different uh, environments that you would say on this bike. We'll do you know, a slightly curvy road. We'll do some 55 highway, and then we'll do some like 70-ish highway speeds and see how that handles. Obviously it handles fine, I'm sure, and the low speed, I mean, like I'm doing 10 here and it, it's fine. So we're not gonna go like into a town. I mean, we are, it'll be like 35 mile an hour um, sections, but we'll get, through this here and we'll get moving because it's kind of warm out here it's very humid this bike is extremely fun to ride it's probably a very good commuter bike and i'm actually going to pull over before we hit this curvy road up here i call it curvy it's it's okay i mean it's probably the closest thing yeah see they're they're turning this way too so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull over and turn my music back on because it cut off. And that'll also let them get a little bit ahead of me just in case they are uh, slow drivers. Because sometimes I get behind people on this road and it's awful. They're super slow. Oh yeah. And I just got my new phone or I just replaced the screen on this phone today. Done cracked it. It fell off of this. I had it up here on my on my gloves and I didn't think about putting my case on it and I cracked it. So I think after this one messes up again, unless my mind changes, I'm gonna have to go to a flip phone because I can't seem to keep one of those that's not broken. I don't see nobody pulling in. Let's get moving. Alright, there's a car behind me too. As long as they're behind me. <laughs> I'd rather them be behind me than in front of me. 
to an extent. Handled that first nice curve decently. And I don't exactly know where the power band on this bike is, so I don't know um, what power range I need to be in. Because I feel like 6,000 probably isn't it. I, it's probably right around 3 or 4, honestly. But we're just going to ride this bike, however, and we'll just do it like that. We'll probably do a little 0 to 60 run uh, once just because we'll hit that spot where we can. Probably at one of these stoplights. Damn. Gotta be kinda careful on this road too because like there's some random dogs that just wander. Like, and it's not like a specific time either. It's just like random. Random time, random dog. Oh, I got to downshift again. Jesus Christ. See, I mean, like, it wasn't like super curvy, but it, it had a couple decent ones, whatnot, you know. If I ever go on a ride by myself, I always hit this road just because it, it's a it's a nice little back and forth here and there. about anybody else that rides or whatever but I can take a left hand turn way better than I can take a right hand turn and I don't know why it's, it's really odd it's like I want to I can lean left so much better than right it's more comfortable it's more natural if anybody knows why that is please let me know And it could just be me, but these grips are really small compared to what I'm used to for some reason. Maybe it's just because they're curved in or something. I'm not sure. You know, the clip-on style, maybe it's just that. I don't know. But they, they feel small. Like, my hands are out here on the weights. I feel like if my hands are way up in here, it feels weird to me. She's not perfectly aligned yet. Have to look into that a little bit more. I may have over adjusted it earlier. Because on my bike, I can set up like that and it don't do that. Like, that's full pin throttle. <laughs> These little bikes are so much fun when you can do stuff like that. <laughs> Finally. Got out of that intersection.
<laughs> this bike is so fun. Just being able to ride like halfway fast, you know, at 60, but so much slower because like you can pin the throttle. Oh, just at 60 here, it doesn't feel like it's going to be a uh, highway bike. It's vibrating pretty good. And I don't know how good you guys can hear that exhaust or the rev here at 7,000. Probably like a small stretch probably wouldn't hurt it. Probably like the stretch that I'm going to be doing, but a long stretch of highway or interstate, whichever you want to call it, probably not going to be the way to go with this kind of bike. Looks like everybody's speeding up. We'll tuck in a little bit to try to help it. We're not going to do like full tuck. I'm not that worried about it. Come on. Well, we know it'll at least do 70 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, it must be 65. I was wanting to do at least 70, but it don't seem like the cars are going to move 70. Oh, they might. Yep, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, here we go. 75, 8,000 and 6 gear. I mean, it's not red line, but I wouldn't want to ride like this. It's kind of bothering my feet a little bit. Just vibrating so much. I got to tuck in a little bit more. <laughs> Alright, well that, like that little stretch, you know, that shows you it'll do it if you need to, but personally me, well, then again, my bike sits about 6,000 at about that speed, so maybe that's normal. I don't know. Maybe different foot pegs if you do have to do that, because it started vibrating my feet a little bit kind of felt a little weird definitely a great around town bopper though if you want the sport bike feel but you know the funner action we'll do like a little zero to 60 here okay not quite oh yeah we can <laughs> and it came up just a hair in second gear when I when I shifted so I'm actually gonna probably start in second gear because that first gear runs out too quick and it, I don't I don't like redlining it so we'll see how how this works out because like my bike it is very smooth in second gear but in first gear it's super jerky I've tried starting in second gear and it just doesn't work out so we'll see how this bike does starting in second about the same as mine there's a 60 <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end this here because I, there's really nothing else to go over I don't think I mean I'm sure there could be but on the way home there's nothing else that I can really cover so I'm gonna end this here and we'll go back and we'll talk on the final opinion on the CBR 300 R. All right, we're back from the ride. As you saw, it rode good. It handled everything that I threw at it. The only thing that I didn't like is uh, maintaining highway speeds at 65, 70 miles an hour. It gets a little vibrating, it kind of tickled my feet a little bit. If you were to be looking at this bike, as long as it's in good mechanical shape, I'd say it's a good starter bike or a good commuter bike. Most of these beginner style bikes are damaged in some sort of way, like this one. The, the uh, 
guy's girlfriend it was her bike and she dropped it you know a couple scratches here a little hole here a couple dents in the gas tank i decided not to fix them because it would have costed more to fix it than i could have possibly got back for it if you can find one that's not dinged up i'll be surprised there's not very many of them at a good deal uh but if you can get a decent deal on this bike if it's a first bike it's probably pretty good if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.